Welcome to medical video lecture series by All Learn and Law team. Today we are going to talk about basic life support. We will try to understand what basic life support involves, how to maintain the airway, breathing, circulation and how to put the individual into the recovery position the most important thing to make sure is the safety the safety of the person who has collapsed the safety of yourself and the safety of any individual who is present around for example if you don't really want to do the basic life support in the middle of the road in case if you see someone has collapsed on the road you may want to get him to the side make sure that it is safe to do the basic life support gently shake the patient and ask loudly are you all right the possibility is the patient or the individual may respond in case if the patient responds then you don't need to start with the chest compressions try to find out what is wrong with the patient and uh, get help if needed the first thing to do is manage the airway turn the victim or the pa person who has collapsed on his or her back place your hands on the forehead and gently tilt the head back you put your fingertips under the patient's chin lifting the chin this helps to open the airway the basic procedure that you do here is head tilt and chin lift once the airway is looked after then comes the breathing it is generally said you should not spend more than 10 seconds to look listen and feel for breathing you look look for the chest to raise up with the breathing listen to the breath sounds or feel for the breath near the nose of the victim if you are not very sure whether the person is breathing or not normally always consider starting the CPR that is cardiopulmonary resuscitation the third thing is to call for an ambulance if you start doing the CPR and you are not called the ambulance then you may end up losing the precious time so it's very important once you have confirmed that the person has collapsed and needs CPR call for an ambulance if there is someone beside you just ask them to call for an ambulance and ask if they can get an automated external defibrillator which sometimes can be available in the public places the next step is circulation that is you start with the chest compressions to do the chest compressions kneel by the side of the patient placing the heel of your hands in the center of the victim's chest and interlock the fingers keeping your arms straight you need to start pressing the chest avoid pressing on the ribs or on the upper abdomen this can cause injuries you need to press down the sternum to the depth of about five to six centimeters that is nearly about two in inches it is very important after each compression to allow the time for the chest to come back to normal position make sure you don't lose the contact with the chest we need to do this at the rate of about 100 to 120 per minute that is about two every second once you have done about 30 chest compressions then you need to give two effective rescue breaths 
when we say as effective rescue breaths we mean when you give the breaths you should see the chest rise and when you take your lips away from the victim's lips then you should see the chest going down you need to give two effective rescue breaths for this first take a normal breath and then place your lips around the victim's mouth to have a good seal you need to give two rescue breaths before you start with the compressions once again some people may not feel very convenient to do the rescue breaths in which case you may do just the chest compressions in the hospital settings you will normally have the face marks which can be used to give the rescue breaths again remember you should not spend more than 10 seconds to deliver the two rescue breaths once you have given the two rescue breaths once again start with the chest compressions as we discussed the magic number that you need to remember is 30 chest compressions for every two rescue breaths as i mentioned if you are not trained or unable to do the rescue breaths just keep giving the chest compressions in case if you get an automated external defibrillator switch on the automated external defibrillator attach the electrode pads on the patient's bare chest and follow the instructions that will be given by the defibrillator itself make sure that nobody is touching the victim when you want to give the shock the the defibrillator itself will analyze the rhythm and will decide whether shock is needed or not if it feels the shock is needed it delivers the shock automatically and once the shock is delivered then you need to restart doing your cpr if the shock is not indicated then we need to continue with the cpr till the help arrives the most important question is when to stop the basic life support you should not stop the basic life support unless a health professional comes and takes over further management or you become exhausted or the victim is uh, definitely waking up moving or opening eyes or breathing normally if you are successful in bringing the patient out of the arrest then you need to put the individual into the recovery position to put the individual in the recovery position kneel beside the victim make sure that the legs are straight the arm nearest to you should be put at right angle to his body elbow bent with the hand palm up then bring the palm arm across the chest and hold the back of the hand against the victim's cheek nearest to you with your other hand grasp the far leg just above the knee pull it up keeping the foot on the ground the picture on the screen shows the different steps to put the individual in the recovery position once you have put the individual in the recovery position make sure that you check for the breathing regularly and be prepared to start the cpr immediately in case if you notice any deterioration or you see that the individual is not breathing normally it is a must for every individual to know about the basic life support how it needs to be done this can help to save the life once again thanks for your attention do watch other videos by our team thank you